Calgary Hospital, a 60-year-old woman is recovering after giving birth to twins. The baby boys were born Tuesday by emergency cesarean section, seven weeks premature. For years, Ranjit Hare and her husband had been trying to have a child, and she suffered from several miscarriages. She was turned down for in vitro fertilization treatment in Canada because of her age, so she went to India, where she's originally from, and that's where she was impregnated with donor eggs. It was in India where the world's oldest mother, a 70-year-old, gave birth to twins this past summer. In 2007, a 60-year-old American gave birth to twins after she and her husband traveled to a fertility clinic in South Africa. And in 2006, a 67-year-old Spanish woman had twins, her first children. She too received in vitro fertilization. In our clinic, we would not treat somebody uh, who is 60 years of age. This Calgary fertility specialist warns of health risks in late-life pregnancies. These include gestational diabetes, need for cesarean section, um, and troubles with growth restriction of the baby. This medical ethicist doesn't disagree, but argues for what he calls procreational liberty. Is it ideal? Is it optimal? Perhaps not. Should we respect the liberty of the very few people who want to make this choice? I think so, but they should do so knowing what the risks are to their own health, and I'm sure she did. Back at the hospital, these Calgarians are amazed. I just turned 60, and I can't even fathom having a baby to look after. It's a very big news. It is a, a miracle. As for the family, they're not sharing photos of the newborns. The hospital says the mother and her twins are in good condition.